Welcome to On Air with Cash. Our guest today is a singer-songwriter who released her first single, Black, on June 19th, Juneteenth of this year. Her music video for the single is out now. Please welcome Jones Monroe. What's up? <laughs> Jones, how are you? Thank you for joining us today. Oh, what's up, Cash? I'm really good. Oh, it's lovely to be here. I saw your music video, your vocals, the message, and, and the visuals. It's, it's very powerful. It's everything art is. I mean, what was your process for making this? Uh, for sure, for sure. Um, it was, you know, sp sparked by the whole George Floyd movement. And, you know, I really wanted to uplift culturally where I'm from and who I am. And so the song came together with some pieces from that. Also, um, visually inspired by some pieces from Judas, uh, Black Messiah. Um, it, it was such a cool process working with Ralph Canono and uh, the, the video director and everything else. But yeah, we really wanted to inspire. Uh, we really wanted to um, evoke emotion from the Black Lives Matter movement through it and, and hopefully, you know, show some real moments into that. It really hit me hard. I didn't actually realize that that hit me as hard as it did at first. Like I saw it and, and I was like, oh, wow, that, that's such a tragic event. And then I kind of just went on, you know, with my day-to-day -day life. But then the more that I saw it and the more I tried to ignore it, the more I couldn't. And then the song came out of that. It was such a tragedy that happened. And then when I see, you know, your song and it's just, it's so powerful, you, you address this. And I think that's what just what's beautiful about your art is you take this, this, um, this tragedy that happened and it was a social injustice and you really bring light to it. And your lyrics, you have an incredible voice and watching it, I was just, whoa right after i saw it cool. yeah that makes me happy I, I i'm always trying to you know hope that the viewer can connect to it you know no matter what background that they're from or or whatever experiences that they've had in their own life um like one of the key lines is in the song is i shine brighter because i'm black but you know that that can go to whomever because we've all experienced so many injustices in our life and I think that if we can choose not to ignore them as a whole as a society and really just embrace it all that we want up healing ourselves um, you know with our own injustices that we face. Because you grew up you started playing piano at five years old and then you were training in opera and I know just even your family was very supportive of your career and wanted you to be passionate about uh, your work and you put your experiences and your substance into your music. For sure, for sure. Yeah, this is all I've ever done is music. Um, I actually own an artist development company outside of, of Jones, outside of, um, of my artistry, my individual artistry. I work with hundreds of other artists. Um, and so that's been my career path. I, I was an opera singer, a classical pianist. Um, they had me explore, my family had me explore arts just for the cultural part of it first. Um, then it became uh, a healing process for, my, for myself. And that's uh, what really sparked me wanting to release an EP now. All of the songs that I wrote on the EP and my uh, upcoming album, actually I wrote in 15 to 20 minutes. They all just literally flowed out of me. They literally were, this like emotional like bath bomb this emotional <laughs> release and it's i'm so excited to you know share them with the world i can't wait i know we're talking about it so your new ep is going to be available this upcoming spring yes for sure yeah uh, we have uh, some songs on there with some love songs some like down south songs i really feel like there's a song for you know all the listeners and everyone uh to appreciate so i'm excited for everyone to hear it Oh, I can't wait. I am so pumped. I'm, I'm really happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Not to get on a sadder note, but I understand you um, recently had taken some time off because of your grandmother. Yeah, for sure. Um, my grandmother really encouraged me. She raised me growing up in East Texas and um, she was raised me by herself and really gave me like her last. And so whenever um, she fell ill, I actually stopped pursuing opera music and, and singing in general. And I took just kind of a hiatus from music. And that's when I got involved on the other side as far as like business. But uh, yeah, her, her um, she was diagnosed with a, like a rare disease and I went to school actually to learn how to take care of her. So I wound up doing her home hemodialysis. Um, and yeah, whenever I lost her, I, I kind of like with most things in my life, I, I kind of ignored it. 
kind of like the George Floyd thing at first. Like it, I knew it was sad. I cried, but then I just like, okay, let me keep going. And, you know, one of the songs that uh, has a cool, a couple of like really cool placements and like really spearheaded it, uh, everything out, which is my second single to be released is called Backbone. And, you know, my grandmother's like one of those cool, old timey, strong black grandmothers, but like, she's beautiful. Like she literally was like the black Marilyn Monroe. And like people ask me where my artist name comes from. And it's from that. Um, that she would always just look at me and be like, you're pretty, be classy. Do that. And I'm like, ah, grandma. And um, yeah, I miss her so much, but she really has been a, a great influence for a lot of my music. That I, I'm so sorry for your loss. I mean, that was uh, so beautifully put. And the reason I brought it up is because I lost my grandmother uh, about a month ago. Long, but, it, but we had the same kind of relationship. She was, I mean, she taught me how to play baseball. We were, she was always taking me to movies and then, you know, whenever I would like dress up and do costumes, whenever I was acting, she would always, I would always give her a part and she was always performing with me. So we had a very, um, we spent a lot of time together and uh, near the end, I mean, she was really, um, you know, she was 95 years old, so her health was deteriorating. So, but I just felt like even during this time, during the pandemic, we had a lot of time, like now it was, you know, she did all that for me growing up and now I was taking care of her and we were cooking, I was cooking with her and telling her, oh, remember Nana, you know, you taught me this recipe. And then there were times I could actually, I could get some music going and I would get her up and we call it, we have a compilation, we call it the Nana dance. So I'd have to I'd have to put my arms under her arms so that she could stand up and then she would just kind of like, you know, start doing and do <laughs> Love it. It had a lot of fun. So I know uh, what a, a loss that was, that uh, has to have been for you. Cause I, we just went through the same thing, but you know what? She taught That's us a lot. She had a great life and we're just glad she's in a better place now. That's awesome. Uh, I'm, 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 it's amazing that we have that synergy, like two different people. And like, we both have a love for our grandparents and have these cool memories, like yes. there. That's super cool. Dad had a box of these old um, VHSs that I started converting to digital. It was like, while my grandma was here and I'd be like, Nana, remember you made me that Ninja Turtle costume. Be like, oh, I did. Oh, okay. It was like, <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's dope. You've also been doing a media tour as well with the SMFG. For sure, for sure. Uh, it's a marketing group here um, in the Southwest region of the United States. And I'm so excited and feel blessed that they took me on. And so they've been throwing me on media tours for the past three months, last quarter. And I've met some really dope um, people. And really, I'm excited just because I've been able to get my message out about the songs and everything. And um, I don't know, I'm excited. I'm, I'm so, I keep saying that, but I don't get excited normally. Normally I'm like, eh, that's cool. But I'm so excited. <laughs> you have every reason to be excited. You are such an amazing person. You put, I, I can tell just how dedicated you are to your family, to your music. You set a great example. You're very passionate about your causes and about what you put into your work. Black is an incredible single. I love the music yeah. video. You deserve everything that, you're, that you have going on right now. And I can't wait for your EP to come out in the spring. I hope you'll come back to promote it. For sure, for sure. And we have the remix of Black coming out too. Um, Seven the Great, he is another rapper actually from um, the Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, his song is actually single, his single is currently on the radio. So shout out to, to him. Uh, he's trending right now with Light It Up. And he joined me and, and is um, remixing the song right now uh, as we do a radio push. And I'm so excited like for the remix that we're going to be dropping um, here in about a month. And we also have a new visual coming for you guys in addition for the remix. Oh, amazing. I can't wait. Is there anything you else you'd like to get throw out there for your fans? Man, I just want everyone just to feel loved. I feel like right now there's so many things going on in the world, um, whether it's from like climate change to like different like things that are happening across the world. And there, it's so easy right now, even with COVID um, to feel like ostracized and feel alone. But I want everyone to know that like, they're not alone. Someone loves you. I've been there and I have been in that dark alone place and, and it feels so good to be on the other side. So I feel like my main mission as an artist is to let everyone know that they're not alone. So if you feel alone, you can hit me up. Just follow me online. I'll actually like reach back out to you um, or just shoot me a message, whatever, or just go reach out to someone because you guys are awesome. 
You heard it. Everyone, I need you to follow Jones Monroe right now. I want you to go on to her page and you need to download her single Black, which is available on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music. And she also has a new EP coming out in the spring. And before that, you can get her new remix of Black coming out in a month. Monroe, I am so proud of you. I am so happy to have you on the show today. And I hope that you will join us again when you're promoting your new EP. Sure, for sure. Thank you so much, Cash. Anytime. Thank you so much for rocking out with me and Jones Monroe today. You are on air with Cash.